Next, there are cheaper options for leisure boating these days, which means you and I can enjoy the lifestyle of the rich and famous without being either. Our reporter shows how. This catamaran is yours for roughly 2.4 million Sing dollars. You're paying for a nice lounge, well-furnished kitchen, comfortable cabin, and a spacious deck for sun tanning. Too expensive, you say? Well, there's a cheaper way to get aboard. If someone would like to indulge uh, for some luxury, uh, they can indeed uh, rent this catamaran for one day, uh, which would be around 3,000 euro uh, with a captain uh, per day. Uh, and the catamaran can uh, take on board up to 30 guests. That works out to roughly 160 Sing dollars per guest, the price for a night in a three-star hotel. So if you have enough friends willing to chip in, sailing on the high seas in style is perfectly within reach. Or why not just own your personal pleasure craft? To get a boat which can be used in any conditions around here in Singapore in the open sea, you have to start out with a boat that uh, runs at about forty to sixty-five thousand um, dollars, and can go all the way up to one hundred and twenty, one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Meaning if you can afford a car, you can afford to sail, at least in Singapore. The second-hand logic applies to boats as well. The used ones are cheaper. The vessel you see here costs 95,000 Sing dollars. Well, this one has a reasonably comfortable bed for two. Over here, a decent shower and toilet. Out on the deck, a loud horn to warn people you're coming. This way, you have a fridge to keep your champagne. And get this, it even has a kitchen. So for the price of a large sedan, you can practically live on this boat. If you treat your vessel right, maintenance costs won't be too much of a bother either, which means the average Joe can indeed get into boating provided he gets a sea driving license first.